Papua New Guinea Projects, based on beekeeping, offers many opportunities, especially for smallholder farmers. Currently, the industry is worth 7 to 8 million kina, and then it puts 1 million kina directly back into the farmer's pocket. So it's an industry that, you know, farmers are making money, they, and it's also enabling them to improve uh, livelihoods. And it's one of the activities that it has very, very minimum effect on the climate. So if we are looking for ways to promote economic uh, improvement in people's lives in the rural sector and at the same time mitigate against climate change, it's one of the uh, first, best candidates that we can promote. However, beekeeping has faced different setbacks due to mite infestations and lack of government support. Eastern Highlands Beekeepers Association Chairman John Abuka says if there are no bees, there is no food security. He also said the government needs to support this industry as previously funding for honey had been diverted to combat the coffee berry borer. Come and come in and support the most of them. Now inside the story, now can't get away from me. I've been working trouble for a long time. Pollinating or some like way we end by with a maritime flower here. Food security is a little contributor. Just like a man in the world, so on. As more and more farmers realize the potential of beekeeping, the relevant government agencies also need to see the industry's potential to grow. But people who can finish the honey and stop self. One blood dreamer, no gaman, or some Jimmy Papa, and one yet must come up in Kaka and Jimmy Kaka. Downstream processing. Okay, there's the funding where gaman and there's a funding logan here. Honey and stop finish to self. There's a dream of the government that you meet in Penis. Lillian Soperakenea, National, MTV News.